Jay-Z meant business. I didn't come to, expletive, around with y'all tonight, the hip-hop star told the packed house of some 17,000 fans at Oracle Arena in Oakland on Saturday night. Allow me to reintroduce myself. In some ways, of course, a reintroduction was not necessary. He is, after all, one of the greatest rappers of all time as well as one of the most famous men on the planet. But, in other ways, a reintroduction made sense. That's because this is not the same old Jay-Z. There's something different about him this time around. And it's fascinating. The opening of Number J's Oakland show pick.twitter.com slash hi7zrgkrkf. Jim Harrington, at Jim The Critic, December 17, 2017. Jay-Z has dropped his shield on his 13th studio album, this year's, for, 44, getting real with listeners in ways he probably never imagined as he addresses infidelity and other family matters. This next song I'm going to do is the most uncomfortable song I've ever written, he told the audience as he cautiously began to recite the album's title track and steadily crawl through the painful lyrics. Look, I apologize, often woman eyes slash took for my child to be born, see through a woman's eyes slash took for these natural twins to believe in miracles slash took me too long for this song, I don't deserve you. Here's more number J's Oakland pick. Twitter.com slash 7EU0M5HNNJ. Jim Harrington, at Jim The Critic, December 17, 2017. It's this combination of openness and honesty that really fuels Jay Z's most intriguing album in at least a decade. But don't just take my word on it. Just ask Grammy Award voters who have endorsed Jay-Z with eight nominations more than any other artist for the big award show next month. He's even received his first ever album of the year nod, which has people wondering if he will actually win that highly prestigious trophy before wife Beyonce does. The Queen Bey, as most will remember, has fallen short in that category on multiple occasions. You can read our thoughts on the matter here. Nice to have number J's back in Bay Area pick. Twitter.com slash SO1SRWAZMB. Jim Harrington, at Jim The Critic, December 17, 2017. These raw, confessional tracks, which read like the answers to the questions raised by Beyonce's landmark Lemonade album from 2016, translated to some of the most striking moments of the concert. Yet, they weren't the most enthusiastically received by the crowd. That honor belonged to such longtime fan favorites as Dirt Off Your Shoulder, Run This Town, and Hard Knock Life, Ghetto Anthem. The 48 year old Brooklyn native was pure confidence and poise as he delivered those and other greatest hits, coming across every bit like a global music giant whose net worth has been reported to be more than $800 million. He worked in front of a live band on board a large circular stage that was erected at the center of the arena floor aka, in the round. The stage had a few nice bells and whistles, such as some overhead video screens that changed position and shape. Yet, it was hard to concentrate much on those when Jay-Z was constantly demanding our attention via sheer presence and star power. Fans digging number J's Oakland pick.twitter.com slash hdfnyv1vdl